Hello again, time to look at another Olympic sport themed game and the sport this time is table tennis or ping pong as it's also known. So we're going to look at Superstar Ping Pong which was a mad release. Here we have the front cover of Superstar Ping Pong then and quite a flashy logo at the top there and the sort of 3D effect of the ball coming out of the cover which is quite nicely done. Uh, mention here of uh, Silver Timer, I presume, are the developers of this game. Did see them mentioned quite a while back on the Legend of the Amazon Women game. And this is a mad release, as previously mentioned. And on the spine, surprise, surprise, we've got the logo again. And on the back cover, we've got numerous pictures of a ping pong table. Not much else to say about that, really. It's a simulation of the game of table tennis, or as it is frequently known, ping pong. There you go, one or two player game available with a range of options. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the outside, let's have a look at the inside. So inside cover, we've got how to play the game, options, how to perform each of the different types of shots, controls, etc, loading instructions, the usual stuff. And that's about it. Pretty basic inlay all round really. It's completely blank inside apart from the uh, adverts for other Mastertronic stuff. Okay so here's the title screen for the game and as you can see there it's created by Ed Ringler. Um, USA based company by the looks of it, Design Star Consultants and the game opens up with this uh, options screen so you've got various options that you choose with the joystick you have one or two player or even two tired which gives a uh, demo of the game uh, you can play end view or side view uh, but the side view is two player only so I won't be doing that I might have a go of it uh, just to show what it looks like so I'll be doing end view and perspective you can do manual or auto move of the paddle I'm going to go with auto to make life a little bit easier for myself and the game speed I'll stick with normal you can also have a beginner and hyperdrive pretty cool music in the background by the way so moving on you then get to assign uh, values to various shots you've got 12 power points available uh, and you can sort of adjust these so for example if I wanted to reduce my forehand but make the smash better I can do that but I'll leave them all at two of everything I think uh, so move on to the next menu you can choose the colour of your paddle uh, from a very, very small selection of colours uh, none of it really matters uh, you can choose whether you're going to alternate sides which I will and the number of games needed to win I'll do best two out of three as it says there and then you go to start the match so lots of options there lots of customizability for the game which is pretty cool okay so here's the game itself and pretty traditional view of a ping pong game reminiscent of Konami's ping pong uh, as you see the ball is bouncing up and down there waiting for you to serve it which I'll do so in a minute you can move the paddle to determine where you're going to serve from and then uh, after that the paddle will move automatically you just have to press fire to hit the ball which is easier said than done and uh, you can also put top spin or back spin on the shot by pushing up or down as you hit it and uh, left and right doesn't really do anything unless you're controlling the paddle so let's give it a go and see how we get on oh he's hit the net that's a good start for me Yeah, that was unsavable that shot. So you can see it's a, a nice, well, reasonably nice graphical representation of a game of table tennis. That was a crap serve. Best to serve down the middle, I think. Oh, <laughs> that was a crap hit. At least I'm hitting it though. No, oh, I missed that totally. Plays that little tune after every five shots when service changes to the other player. Oh, God. 
Clearly putting backspin on that's not a good idea. That's better. Um, so noises wise, that, you can probably hear the little blips and blocks which are typical of any kind of Pong game, let alone ping pong. Oh, that was a great return then. I don't have any feeling that I'm going to win this game under any circumstances, especially on a serve like that. Some shots are just unreturnable. As usual, the computer's a bit too good and you've got no chance of actually beating them. Um, I don't really know what else to say about the game because that's pretty much it. It's a game of ping pong. It's a reasonable rep uh, representation of it. Um, it's got some re you know, decent physics, although the ball just seems to spin off at, at weird angles half the time that you can do nothing about. Sometimes you just totally miss hit it as well. Um, it's not too bad. I'm not going to win, obviously, but um, it's much better than the basketball game. Um, it's definitely playable, and as a two-player game, it could be quite fun. Uh, what we'll do is go back and have a look at the uh, two-player side-on view in a minute. I won't be able to give a very good demo of that on my own, obviously, but that was close. Uh, I'll also just carry on playing the first game. This guy's obviously going to kick my arse, Mr. Pink. Oh, strange that it hits the net sometimes. Oh. Sometimes the swing just gets totally wrong. So you can see at the end of each uh, set, you get this little tune played, which is nice enough, and uh, you swap ends. And it's even harder to hit the ball back when you come into the top end. I just can't get the timing right at all. <laughs> I'm not going to for, for a shot like that, of course. Oh, I mean, why did that go up there? So it's all about timing so the ball hits the middle of the paddle, I guess. That's not a bad return. I'm never going to get that one back, though. So you get the idea, anyway. It's a neat enough uh, table tennis game, so let's go back to the main menu and choose the other option. So, make it side view. You can only do manual move on this one, it seems, as well. Next. And we'll just make that one out of one, just for a quick demo. Okay, so this is the sideways view, which is going to pretty much resemble a game of Pong, I suspect, as in the original Pong, not Ping Pong. Obviously, the pink guy is not going to return anything because I haven't got another joystick plugged in. So, not much of a demo there, but that looks like it could be quite fun as a two-player game. And that's it, really, because I haven't got a joystick to move um, the pink controller. So, all in all, not a bad game. Could this actually be the first mad game that would be worth two ninety nine? Borderline, but I'm gonna say yes. It's a nicely um, put together package, playable, uh, looks pretty decent. There's only so much you can do with a table tennis game, and um, music's quite nice. Plenty of options. Got two player mode, which would be good fun if I had someone to play with. Um, so yeah, all in all, not a bad game. Worth 2.99, and uh, let's move on to the next Olympic-themed game.